Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech on Info. I'm Scotty, my co-host Cletus. Uh, today's a quick, quick little video about the difference between uh, alkaline batteries, nickel metal hydride, and lithium ion. Um, mostly between alkaline and nickel metal hydride, but the deal is that, uh, especially if you've bought something like an LED flashlight, what you'll find is that some manufacturers recommend using alkaline batteries. And then some manufacturers say, uh, no, use nickel metal hydride batteries. For example, in uh, the, the Black Diamond Revolt, my favorite LED headlamp that I did a video on, they recommend that you use nickel metal hydride batteries. Okay, but they also say that for maximum brightness, you should use alkaline batteries. But they also say for maximum life, you should use nickel metal hydride. So what exactly is the deal here? So, let's take a look. Okay, so here I've got alkaline battery AAA, nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery AAA, and this is just a standard 18650 um, 3.7 volt lithium ion cell. So, okay, the deal is that um, for an alkaline battery, and I'll just use AAA as an example because this is the kind that fits in my little headlamp. So, um, alkaline batteries, which we'll call alkies, and they come out of hydride and lithium ion or lithium polymer or whatever. Uh, alkaline batteries are usually 1.5 volts. There are, there's like a 9 volt, 6 volt, but your typical size like this, you know, AAA, AA. Uh, C and D. They're all 1.5 volts. Uh, okay. Nickel metal hydride, on the other hand, are 1.2 volts. Now, the current, uh, typically for, say, a good um, AAA battery, the current you can, that the, the current rating is actually 1200 milliamp hours. These are not, you know, I, different batteries are different, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just using this as kind of a, a typical example for your run-of-the-mill AAA alkaline battery. Okay. Uh, this nickel metal hydride that I bought um, is 1100 milliamp hours. In fact, it actually says typical 1100 milliamp hours. And of course, lithium ion, a single cell like like this guy, he's he's 3.7 volts. Um, and the, the currents, ah, it's, there's, there's all kinds of different current ratings for, for uh, nickel metal, hy metal hydride cells. Or, sorry, <laughs> there are all kinds of different current ratings for lithium ion cells. Um, <clears throat> so, you, you probably notice here that, well, since, since power equals voltage times current, if you multiply 1.5 by 1200, you get a bigger number than if you multiply 1.2 by 1100, right? Because both of these num, you know, both of these numbers are bigger than those numbers. Oh, okay, so you'd think that would mean you could pull more power from the alkaline. Um, also, you notice that the voltage is different. So there are a couple little things to be aware of here. With alkaline batteries, basically they start off when they're when they're fresh out of the package. They start off at 1.5 volts, but if we do voltage versus time, you know you start off at 1.5, and as as time moves on, your battery voltage is going to go like that. And um, typically, it may stop at like you know 0 0.9 or 1 volts, even when even when the battery is dead there'll still be a voltage across the alkaline. But the point is here, the important point is that alkalines, even though they start at 1.5 volts, the voltage drops off over time. Now, nickel metal hydrides, in contrast, pretty much stay... They start at 1.2 volts when they're fully charged, and for the most part, they stay fairly constant until all the current is sucked out of them. Okay, well, why does that matter? Well, again, power equals voltage times current. So here you think, well, yeah, but it's, it's a higher voltage, so isn't it better? Well, not really, because the alkaline, the voltage is going to drop, which means this dropping number times this number is going to give you less and less power over time, 
whereas the nickel metal hydride is going to stay relatively constant at 1.2 volts. It's not going to drop off. Okay, but what about the current? Now this is where it gets very interesting because when an alkaline battery is rated at 1200 milliamp hours, alkaline batteries are designed for low current draw. So 1200 milliamp hours technically means it's 1200 milliamps over one hour, right? Or 120 milliamps over 10 hours or 12 milliamps over 100 hours. So in low current draw applications like a small gizmo that doesn't require much much uh, juice, alkalines are better. But if you actually try to pull lots of current from an alkaline, instead of say, you know, 12 or 50 milliamps, you decide, well, I want to pull uh, 120 milliamps. I want to pull 600 milliamps. You can, but the problem is that the more current you try to pull from the alkaline battery, the smaller this actual overall capacity becomes. Okay, that's kind of confusing. What does that actually mean? Well, basically, you've got a 1200 milliamp hour battery here, right? Um, okay, you can pull, let's say you try to pull half of that. You try to pull 600 milliamps. You'd think that because you know, if you're pulling 600 milliamps and it's 1200 milliamp hours, you should be able to pull 600 milliamps for two hours. But you can't, because the minute you start pulling lots of current from the alkaline, this total number here starts dropping. So you can pull 600 milliamps from it, but the rating of this battery, he might drop down to say like, you know, 500 milliamp hours. So with alkalines, this, this milliamp hour rating isn't constant. The more current you try to pull from it, the lower the actual milliamp hour rating of the battery gets. It, it starts dropping. Um, to help explain that maybe a little bit better, let's think about nickel metal hydride cells now. When it says 1100 milliamp hours, that actually means you can pull 1100 milliamps for one hour. It means you can pull uh, 600 milliamps for, well, approximately two hours. The actual milliamp hour rating of the, ba of the battery, if it's nickel metal hydride, does not actually drop appreciably when you're pulling higher currents. So if you want to, you can use a nickel metal hydride and you can pull, you can pull, you know, 11 or 50 or 100 milliamp hours from here. You, you say you pull, say you pull uh, 11 milliamp hours from this battery, it'll last 100 hours. 11 times 100 is 1100 milliamp hours. Say you pull half this, 550 milliamps, right? It will actually last two hours. Unlike the alkaline, where when you start pulling lots and lots of current from it, this total milliamp hour rating starts plummeting. With nickel metal hydrides, it's stable. If it says 1100 milliamp hours, you're good. Now lithium ion, on the other hand, they're, they're very, yeah. Um, there's many, many different current ratings. There's... Um, with lithium ion, you can even have like a C rating where you have, say, um, well, let's just make it simple. And let's say you have like a thousand milliamp hours and it's rated like 10 C. That means you can actually pull a thousand milliamps for one hour. But the 10 C rating means you can also pull 10,000 milliamp hours from it, but in one tenth of an hour. So for, you can pull 10 amp hours for six minutes and it's not going to actually damage the battery. So lithium ion are actually like in a totally different ballpark than alkalines and nickel metal hydrides. And that's one of the reasons they're so popular. Of course, they're also 3.7 volts. So this is an 18650 cell and um, typically your, your single lithium ion cell is, is 3.7 volts. So they do actually make kind of alkaline replacement batteries like in a C or a D cell, uh, like say like a, a D cell battery like this and it's lithium ion. They're, they're actually kind of dumb because I'm not actually sure what they do. I guess maybe they just put a 3.7 volt cell inside like a battery housing like this and use some kind of, um, I don't know, maybe they use some kind of voltage regulator or something. Um, it's kind of silly because, um, yeah, that's, 
you're losing a lot of your you're you're basically losing power because you're you're having to drop your voltage way down so right so just to recap real quick basically the reason that nickel metal hydrides are often recommended over alkalines is even though they have a lower voltage the current draw is constant you can pull as much current as you want up to the rated limit if you pull this amount it's going to last one hour if you pull half this it's going to last two hours whereas with alkalines first of all not only does the voltage drop over time but whatever it's rated when you start pulling too much current from it um, it's not actually going to last two hours it's going to last way less than that because when you start pulling 600 milliamps from it this rating suddenly drops to like say uh, you know maybe like 400 milliamp hours so you're you're not you're basically the more current you pull the lower the actual milliamp hour rating becomes nickel metal hydride whatever it's rated you're good to go and of course lithium ion well they're awesome so <clears throat> right so hopefully that made some sense um, and that explains why when you have say um, at like an LED headlamp or a flashlight, the manufacturer will say, well, if you want maximum brightness, use an alkaline battery. And in fact, when you look at ratings for LED flashlights and that sort of thing, typically when they give you the maximum brightness rating in lumens, they put a little note at the bottom saying, oh, by the way, this is using alkalines. Um, and that's because the initial voltage is higher and you can get, you can get a little bit extra brightness from it. And, but long-term nickel metal hydrides are better because you have more constant power over time uh, and when you start pulling a little bit extra juice from it you don't get that drop off in the milliamp hour rating so right so that's about it um for more techie tips see scotty's tech info thanks for watching and see you next time